Hey guys, part of my new thing is food reviews. I wanna let you know, this is Russian food. There's a Pacific store here in California that serves Russian food. I love their food. I want you guys to be educated. This is a 12 grain multi bread. Look at how beautiful this is. I buy this this is uh, I think it's about six bucks for this thing but look at how beautiful it is it's got molasses in it it's just an amazing piece of bread and they cook this daily so what I do is I slice it and I freeze it so I am looking up so I can get everything involved in the video next thing is this is a beautiful thing called a Pozarski it's probably another word for a uh, what is it? Whatever they call these things. Peruski? But they call it a Poharski. Poharski. It's uh, $5.50. It has, it's breaded. It has chicken around it. And inside is mushroom. I got the chicken mushroom one. Delicious, hearty meal. A lot of the Russian food is very hearty. Good stuff though. And I gotta show you this. This is a pork sausage. Look at how beautiful this is. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable, and it tastes so good. Look at that. So beautiful. So uh I buy this kind of food and live on it for a few days. It's delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this food after I check the video. Also here is a stuffed mushroom. This was about $5 stuffed with meat. Look at how delicious that is. Delicious that is. So awesome. I'll take it. The final thing I want to show you is this. I discovered this. This would, I, I went there for sunflower seeds. If you don't know, the Russian stores have probably 20 types of manufacturers of sunflower seeds. They're really into seeds. The Russians love seeds. So this is a uh, pork square shoulder. It's not, it's veal actually. Let me grab this. Let me show you this piece of meat. I'm going to be barbecuing this. Look at this stunning piece of meat. It's just breathtaking if you're a meat eater. So it's got a big bone in it. This cost me, uh, I think it was about 12 bucks. But look at, it's like a huge... A huge filet. Look at this. A huge filet. Like if you're buying a T-bone, this would be the big part on the T-bone. So yeah, I'll be um, I'll be barbecuing this bad boy. So this is a pork or a lamb shoulder. Lamb shoulder with a big bone in it for the flavor. Look at that. A knuckle. Anyways, I love cooking food. I've never cooked a lamb square shoulder. This was actually. Let me show you. Since I'm so organized. This was uh, 20 bucks. So expensive. But can you imagine how beautiful that's going to be when I get done putting some herbs on it and smoking it for probably six hours on the Weber? Oof. All right, there you go. Pre hope you appreciate uh, my brief trip through Russian food. You can't go wrong. If you go in any Russian store, I guarantee you can't leave without buying something. The food is delicious. And this place actually has a deli. Uh, with all the different types of foods and you just order the hot deli food that you can see most of this was hot deli And then I did get the last loaf of the 12 grain bread Which has molasses in it and it's just got all these seeds and it. it's really good food. So Anyways, I uh, off the course, but remember I do food reviews too. I have a food re review channel. All right. Thank you Thank you for your time Hey, uh, I'm not product endorsing, but if you're like me, you can never get enough beaver, right? I love beaver. Especially love the tail. The extra hot horseradish, 
I'm gonna be putting on this. So here's the bread, look at that. Oh, the 12 grain bread, glistening, crunchy. Oh, so good, so good. So let's see, let's try a little, uh, let's try a little bit of this on here. Mm. Just like mom made, there's no difference in Russian food, really. This is so good. Mm. Seriously, a great stuffed bell pepper. So good. Put a little bit on this bread again. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this pull apart. Mm. I love food. Relationship or food? Right now, it's relation. It's food. Mm. So good. Now I'll try this uh, Poharski. This thing is super heavy. Like this weighs like a baseball, a hardball. Let's try it. I'm not a big eater. Mm. First of all, this is a nine. The bread's always been a ten. This is a solid nine. Let's try it with a little horseradish, a little beaver, a little beaver tail, a little beaver action. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I like my food spicy. And with this beaver hot sauce. Look at that. So beautiful. Mm. For five and a half dollars, why would you go to a fast food when you can go to a, a Russian store near you? Mmm. So good. And deep fried foods aren't necessarily bad if they quick fry them like this. All right, the final thing is get a drink. This sausage, no, I cheated. I did try it already. I wanna show you guys though. I'll cut it in half. And then show you, look at that. It's just delicious. Mm. Perfect herbs. Um, give this eight and a half, cause it's missing like it's missing fennel but there you go a beautiful Russian lunch cost me for all this food but it does take me days to eat probably 20 bucks this or, or a fast food your choice I would always go with this it's so much better for you a lot of times it's already prepared there. You just buy it and go home. It's quicker than a fast food, right? Oh, there's a little rice in here too. Mmm. Mmm. This is missing like a little tomato sauce. I'll probably put a little tomato sauce on there, tweaking it. But everything, mmm. It's so delicious. Look at that. Nothing like a good bread. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. I forgot I'm not alone. Go to your local Russian store. Go down every aisle. You'll have so much fun. Thanks for uh, your time. All right, you guys. Just want to show you Jack Cooper style. I'm using a Weber, electric Weber. Right here is dust. I have wet dust, okay? I put this on top, put my wood chips in there. I probably won't use this actually. Put this in, put the, my wood chips on top of that. I do have fresh rosemary in the drip pan. That heats up, gives a little bit of flavor. I will be putting fresh rosemary <coughs> on the pork, or actually lamb shoulder. 
Remember I bought this at the Russian store. This is soaking, almost done. Um, this is my dust. These are my dust, this is my little secret. So whenever I cut wood, I save all the dust. This is cherry dust, fig dust. This is some more fig dust, adds amazing flavor. I have a bag of cherry uh, smoke chips and then I'm soaking those. Next you get a little bit of water in here. There you go. Okay, we'll come back to the meat in a second. Check this out. So here, I got apples. Apple chips, mesquite chips, hickory chips. I kind of got away from that. I got some mesquite charcoal. And some more of those, uh, you know, when, the, when the lava goes bad, you just replace the lava. But here's the beauty. I slice, whenever but anybody puts stuff out front of the tree, these are all apricot trees, fig tree, cherry tree, okay? These get soaked. In fact, I'll be soaking some. I'll just take a handful. Let's go do it. And I'll be smoking all day. There you go. So let me show you the meat. The meat is, of course, the $20 uh, lamb shoulder. I just put some herbs on it. It's looking good. Remember, this is the part of the T-bone. That is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my God. I've never had this. It's going to be delicious. I'm keeping it plain with just some herbs on it. I'll put some rosemary on it.